What's poppin' people? It's your boy, Mr. Miyagi, back for uh, a little bit of Smite. Today I'm gonna show you my Amaterasu build. Uh, it's probably nothing special. You're probably thinking, oh, this is what everybody does. Because it probably is, but I just want to make a video on it anyway. How I run Amaterasu. I run her more of a damagey... She's kind of like a bulky assassin, basically. Where uh, I boost up her attack speed super high. And um, she does a lot of damage per hit because of her... One, her damage aura makes her have like an extra 50 attack power or something. It's probably not that much, it's probably more like 30. But it gives her more power, so you don't have to rely so much on power. So you can give yourself like a attack speed item instead of a power item. So I run a Warrior's Tabby because it's boots, it does more damage. The Keen Scythes, um, they're okay. They're not really, really good for this build, so sometimes I will scrap this and get Blood Forge and Soul Eater because that gives you the same physical power, except it gives you Life Steal instead. Sometimes I'll get this Breastplate of Breastplate of Valor. If I don't, then I either get the Hide of the Urchin or Blood Forge. This is basically like my backup item, <clears throat> but this lowers cooldown, gives you 300 mana, which is it's okay, it helps you stay in battle longer, and it gives you protection, so you can keep fighting people. This is really broken, and pretty much every character, this is just like a staple item for just about every character, besides maybe Mage. And it's Hazen Fatalis, it makes you move faster, attack faster, and if you hit people, you keep going the same speed, so basically you can circle strafe around people, especially hunters, and they can't hit you, and you just kind of kill them. <clears throat> you can replace this with a hammer, which kind of does the same thing, but... I uh, I would say why not have both in that sense. Then you have Executioner which gives you more attack speed and physical power and up to four hits you can reduce their physical protection by up to 32% which is pretty good. Uh, you know, you're, I get deicides all the time with this character. You just tear through mid to late game. Early game seems to be pretty hard-ish. Until you get, well, until you get your ult then you're pretty good. And then Soul Eater is the last item here and it's, uh, attack speed and life steal and you know there you go like my life steal it says it's only at 20 percent but it's usually at 35 because of the blood forge so yeah that's my amaterasu build i might do more builds of characters i like in the future maybe i don't really play a whole lot of other characters well enough to really be able to give you a list so yeah thanks for watching guys and i'll see you later